Right, wakey wakey everyone. Too many drinks last night, Harry. Well, lucky for you lots, we've got something planned for today. We're gonna have Halloween stories, and you all have to get them into me by the end of the week. How long have we got today? Well, um, 5,000 words. Uh, well, Halloween's not my favorite day of the year either, considering what happened last year. Anyway, you all have to get the stories to me by 4 p.m. on Friday, emailed. I hope you all got to the reading I sent around. What do you all think of chapter 13? A writer's plots and motive. Uh, there was a large theme of blood, I thought. Uh, stabbing. How long has he been here? I just found him like this, I didn't know. Did you touch anything? No, I didn't touch anything. Okay, stay back and then we'll ring the police. Okay, okay. Yeah, they better catch this bloody asshole. What did Harry ever do to them? I don't know, but I'm sure they'll find whoever did it. As if last year wasn't bad enough, someone freaking got her ass in some stair. Oh, disgusting. Yeah, it's terrible. Poor old Frank, having to believe his son was hung. He believed it for a whole hour, and no one told him. Hey, you don't think it would be another prank, do they? Definitely not. I'm sorry, Mike, but that was Harry's body. Hey, where's Adam? In his room? I saw him this morning. Um, no, I, I saw him there to borrow a bill, but I don't think he's there, maybe? A football, maybe? Not in this weather. Plus, all university activities have been cancelled. I just got an email from Asylum and he says that Lex is back on tomorrow. That's ridiculous. Shouldn't we have a day's rest? You know, for Harry? Yeah, especially for Asylum. Why would Asylum want Lex back? Wasn't it one of his students? Maybe it's the best to let things continue as normal. You know, it's safer to, save her to have an evening class with Dr. Aslam in the campus. You know, there's a murder on loose. At least it's an evening class. I don't think I can get up in this weather in the morning. It's getting dark and we've been told to stay inside. Where the hell is he? This is ridiculous. How can they actually make us go to lectures? Two people are missing and one of them is a flatmate. No, it's dreadful. Like, at least we need to talk to Aslan. Like, he can help us. At least we got assured. Cora's right. I think we need to think positively if we're going to help anyone. I just want to know Adam's okay. Only four of you? That's no good. Yeah, there were more of us on the safety bus, but none for English. The driver thought it was a good turnout. He thought we'd be done by four. Well, being as the only four of you, I don't mind dropping you off myself. If that's okay with you, of course. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I'll just ring the safety bus and tell them their driver will not be needed. So, you don't know where Adam is, do you? He's our flatmate, and do you know what's going on? Yeah, I heard about that. How about we talk again in a minute in the classroom? I'm just going to ring the safety bus and make myself a cup of coffee. It says 
A liar should have a good memory. What? That's what it says. Wait, guys, listen. We have to get up here. We are in danger. Like, we just need to get up here quick. Cora, calm down. Don't worry. I'm sure, Doctor. No, Emily, you don't understand. It's him. We are in danger. It's him. What are you talking about? It's it's him who killed Harry. How can you be so sure? Uh, okay, well, um, it was it was Harry who played pranks. Dr. Aslan last year. That's ridiculous. Corey, you need to tell us how you know. Okay, Harry uh, and me, like, he was the one who planned everything. I, he just let me in. Like, you know, I, I used to like him back then, so I just agreed to help him. But I didn't know that would cause so much trouble. I, I'm so sorry. Oh my god. Right, this is pretty serious. What are we going to do now? I know that note is addressed to me, like, he's coming to get me. Just calm down. Wait, you liked Harry? Right, everyone be quiet. Let's go. We need a plan. Oh, call the police. Okay, wait, do you think he actually got Adam? Yes, and we're gonna get him out of there. No, anyway, we have to wait till the police arrive. Well, okay, Mike, I'm with you. It's not my fault. It's me. I, I need to go. I have to. No, it's not. Don't be silly. You'll put a knife in both your necks. We'll stay here and keep guard. Fine, but if there's any danger, run. And if there's no sign of Adam, get out. talking about it. It all came to light. Today, I finished my plan. Today, all I've worked for shall happen. The police? Seriously? Don't worry. Nothing is stopping my plan today. Nothing. Where are you going? escape the responsibility of tomorrow by evading today. That's crazy. How did he get away? I don't know. Maybe an, an escape planned in case the police showed up. The police didn't find any such thing. No. It was a very clever man. It is. He is a clever man. Like, he's still out there. He's far away from us now. You're, you're safe now. I'm with all the security on campus. I feel so stupid. I think you're very brave. Me too. I don't know. His last quote seemed pretty final. I don't think he's coming back anytime soon. 